to this channel you'll be learning how to design a birthday flyer for your client using your smartphone okay this is what we exactly we are going to design right now so let's get started you click here to clear the bad one so we are going to make use of our plus sign that is where we are going to import our design element so you click from gallery now this is my download this is my download so i have downloaded this image from vesta.com so you can click on this image this image you're using you tick good so you expand it a little and bring it down okay so we we'll go back again to import our ribbon import the ribbon you tick good you expand it to the size of our design okay expand it more all right i'm expanding it more because it has a watermark so you need to cover the watermark okay all right so let's also import or insert a test you can insert test you double click delete the default test and type happy and tick good you bring it down expand a little then we go to our app to our font you click on the font you click on font and go to recent because i have used some of the font so we are going to make use of here is the font the name of the font is taken by adventure so you click on it and click ok all right you can see the font it's the same thing as the one in the picture okay all right so now it's time for us to change the color of the text you use this dark red you can decide to make use of the color picker okay to import the another text again we type birthday please if you're a first timer subscribe to this channel so that we have more of this design and more of this video free of charge and I'm and I do provide free resources in my video description okay so we are going to change the color and then go to the font again and choose chesting hat the name of the font is chesting hat this is the name of the font chesting hat here is chesting hat you can see chesting hat you take good we expand it a little bit. We expand a little bit. Now we import a shape, a rounded shape. You reduce or increase the radius. Increase the radius up to 31 and change the color to black. The background color to black and uh, change the color of the stroke or outline first increase the outline to eight and change the color to red okay this is what we have then you now tick good so we import or we copy the text, copy the text and bring it here and place it at the shape and type Sophia. Type Sophia and change the color to white. Alright, so this is what we have. So we can have copy again, copy the text, double click or double tap and delete this text then type wishing you 
success and maybe happiness okay all right then you reduce the size of this test reduce it and bring it somewhere here I'm gonna bring this down a bit then we're gonna lock it so that will not disturb my design by mistake okay all right I'm going to change the margins so they have a good margin Okay. okay, so we are going to reduce the white spaces between the two tails a bit minus eight line spacing of minus eight. Okay, then we change the font to popping. You can either use popping or you use multi stereo. You say popping and tick good. And reduce the size a bit then we change the color of our text to black okay let's reduce the the space between the text okay this okay I love it this way minus 13 is fine all right so we can still copy the same text copy the text Double click and write maybe celebration of life of life. You can type anything, you can add this to make it artistic and then expand this. If there you go again and change the font or you maintain the particular font or depend on what you desire for okay. So I use champion champion. I use champion let me remove this artistic layer I use champion then use your use your your relative position to center it okay so this is well centered I can reduce the size again we reduce the size a bit And make it a relative position again then change the color of the text to red all right so you cannot bring today's the, the date of the birthday you, so what we do is to import a rounded shape by increasing the radius so when, the, the shape informally is a square but you can convert it to cycle by re increasing the radius so that is how it is done then you change the color to red right from there and reduce the size okay all right so you can now reshape it reshape it all right so this is okay by me so i have to drag it and drop it here so we go back again import another shape increase the radius reduce the size of the circle and bring it closer please for the first time man, subscribe to my channel god bless you you have more to achieve here free resources free font free bag one and free stock images all for free you are not going to pay a dime okay so you have to now move the shape to towards the other shape let me bring it down a bit okay this is what i want to do all right so i copy this test i copy the birthday test again copy click on copy bring it and double click and then write may 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 zero six 
okay and then you reduce the size you reduce the size by using your size to your size to reduce the size then use the position to and move it to the test holder this is our test holder then time to change our font style you change the font to you make sure you don't use too many fonts so here i'm lim limiting my font to three fonts i use popping i used take it by venture and then i use chasing heart okay all right i've selected the popping popping regular and take gold then you have to reduce the space between the two text all right so this this is what i want all right so this is actually how to design a birthday flyer using your smartphone so we are going to import another background to make it more stylish so by clicking on your gallery or wherever you store your design resources so this is the background i'm going to use all right so you take good you expand it to the size of your design so we are going to change the brightness of this background by making use of our color filters then increase the brightness all right so we have changed it to a better background so all we need to do is to go and click back to back click this option this option will help you to put this background to the back of all your design element all right so this is how beautiful the background will be if you click to back all right so after all that you have to go and save your design by clicking on this icon that's a saving icon then save as project first then put the name of the project as birthday you can say birthday design practical you can say practical okay and tick okay now you have saved the essence of saving as a project is to access the file later and also edit if there is need if you want to modify your file you can always edit the same way it is done in photoshop okay then it means you are going to have a raw file of uh, what we call plp file all right so then after saving as a project you can now go back again click on the save icon and save as image now here you have option to save as jpng or you save as png so any option you use is good i prefer using png for higher quality then the dimension you must take note of the dimension here dimension require that you should choose the highest dimension which is ultra the ultra is chosen because when you save then here you now click on save the gallery so that you can go and pick or see your design now i was trying to explain the essence of using the ultra or higher resolution the ultra allows a better printing or higher quality when your design is put to the machine or to the printing machine all right so always make sure you save your design in ultra dimension and also save as png and then make sure that all your test elements are not merged together instead of merging your design element together you just lock it don't merge i'm going to show you how merging work if you merge the two layers together okay we notice what happened okay so when you merge the two elements together it's going to be blonde it when you print it it will be very very blonde so the the best way is to just lock the layers lock it lock it and say okay now when you have designed everything as you desire you can now save 
and leave your design tools all right so this is how to design this beautiful flyer use your smartphone thank you for watching please before you leave give a top up and click on the subscribe button for a no comment and also share this channel to your friends so that they can also benefit they might benefit all by sharing by assessing my free resources the design resources the stock images the flyers or the background fonts and so many other things which i give all free of charge i also conduct some premium training to my whatsapp you check the description session you will see my whatsapp link or number you will see how to assess me either through my telegram page facebook or instagram